what we do know right now is that um, combinations of uh, any type of therapy with immunotherapy, particularly chemotherapy, um, has not been effective in pancreatic cancer. With that said, we do note from those prior studies um, that there are a small subset of patients that do seem to benefit. However, our understanding of what biomarkers predict potentially response are still very poor. Um, and I think the typical biomarkers such as pd one and, and such like that um, are very poor biomarkers. So that's where the investigational work looking into the tumor and micro environment, looking at CDA T-cell infiltration, uh, potentially T-cell clonality, re receptor clonality, and how that affects responses are going to be very important. Um, you know, there are some works that have already uh, translated into some uh, novel uh, therapies. So uh, recently, uh, there was a uh, uh, trial called the COMBAT trial, which was a ra randomized phase two trial looking at CXCR4 um, in combination with chemotherapy and PD-1 inhibition with uh, um, uh, pembrolizumab. And at least based on that study, there was actually some uh, um, signal of potentially very beneficial activity in um, refractory uh, patients. And actually at our center here at the University of Washington, uh, we also collaborate with scientists who are also looking at investigating the tumor microenvironment, utilizing these agents. And so um, that's just an example, um, as well as and many other examples where I think the field is moving towards combination treatments, looking at other potentially immune targets, but then at the same time, uh, studying potentially the mechanisms of response and resistance to such therapies. So.